Hey guys, it's James aka The Pond. Welcome back to my sacred bathroom. So today we'll be doing the second review in my um, water based reviews series. And so today I present to you Grant's Golden Brand Pomade, the original version. So unlike the product from yesterday, Grant's is actually already pretty well known. It's been around for a few years and it's been featured on GQ, Esquire, and actually is available around the world. It's not common, however, they ship worldwide. They're available in bar barbershops across the world from Japan back to SoCal. So let's get started. Let's actually take a look at the um, product itself right now. So yeah, here's the jar itself. Like I said before, this is Grant's Golden Brand Original Pomade. So it comes in a nice brushed aluminum clear coat anodized twist top four and a half ounce jar. So slightly bigger than the standard size. Um, you have branding on the top and then you have ingredients and further information on the back. So twisting off the top, you can see it has a nice golden color. So yeah, alright. Um, in order to give um, all the pomades a fair start and the best case scenario start, my hair is completely dry, I don't have any other products in, so let's get started. So right off the bat, definitely the pomade's got a nice like almond scent as advertised. And actually it won't. You know, right now it feels like a really thick water-based. Very similar to the product from yesterday. And definitely thicker than say Thirst Floors or Suavecito. Feeling this, I guess I've been, I guess I've been using like the wrong water-based pomades or something because obviously Slick Devils from yesterday felt like the same way Grant's is feeling right now. Yeah. Smears around pretty good. And the almond scent, it turns into like a more like fruity scent when uh, you rub it in your hands. Let me get my towel real quick. So yeah, just like before, I'll be styling with uh, the rat tail comb only. So I'm going to go ahead and slick everything back now. So while slicking everything back right now, I do notice that I'm actually getting a lot more shine than uh, Slick Devils yesterday, so that's making me really happy right now. Because that's typically one of the things you give up when you move over to water-based um, pomades. You give up the shine. And that's, not, that's something I don't want to give up. So, anyways, we can go ahead and start the part now. That was a bad part. So right now, it's feeling like I'm not going to get as much hold as in comparison to Slick Devil Pomade yesterday. However, the gain right now is the shine and just like the natural form. What I mean by natural form is like some, some pomades would just take your hair and just shape it and then it doesn't really allow like the natural shape of your hair to come out. 
as in you'll get more you're more likely to get like a block shaped like pump versus a nice uh, natural like spherical or curvy pompadour So go ahead form the pump now. So yeah, I think the pump is done. Uh, so let's give a general inspection of it. So from what we can see, the sides are a little puffy, if you can tell right now. I would I would wish they were held down a little bit tighter. Um, the edges are edges are nice. The part is the part is it's adequate. Um, however, the pop itself, this is what I really like about Grants. The pop itself is really nice. It is it has a natural shape to it. Unlike other pommets where they have like brute strength, you'll get like a block pump, or it'll just be like very. It'll be like straight edge. It will have like it won't be rounded. So. I really, really, really like the characteristic of Grant's and its ability to have this type of pump. I do wish it was a little bit stronger so I can slick down my sides. However, giving giving it a little bit more strength will sacrifice the shape of the um, pompadour itself. So honestly, I think the closest comparison to Grant's right now would be uh, Tantra or Yanagiya. If you guys ever heard of it, there are two Japanese palmates, not like the modern day like Gatsby bullshit. We're talking about like old Asian men. Things that like it smells terrible. They come in. Uh, um, Tantra comes in a white and green uh, jar, and the Yanagiya comes in like a white and lime green jar, and they they have a similar characteristic. They're really like jelly-like, and so when you put in your hair, your hair gets a little bounce and like volume. And Grants does the same thing, which I'm really surprised that a water base can do. Um, we'll see whether it dries hard. Similar to Slick Dive, um, my intuition says it won't, but we'll see. I'll come back in my uh, written review to tell you guys about that. If you guys want a more detailed review, you have to look towards my written review. But other than that, if you guys are, if you guys like the characteristic of like those Japanese pomades and like the balance, if you if you think your hair can do better with some balance rather than rigidity, then you should look into Grants. If you guys want brute strength, I probably I probably point you guys somewhere else. However. If you guys are, if you guys like a natural looking pump, you guys want like a realistic one, not like some stupid like psycho billy bullshit, then like I'll recommend you to Grants. It's on the pricier side, I'm not gonna lie, it is definitely pricey. However, like anything else in life, you get what you pay for. And so I would definitely take some time if I were you to just like at least look into Grants and take a look at it. Because it does bring a very interesting set of characteristics to the tables that other water base have not. And so but uh, keep posted, I will be reviewing the medium blend tomorrow and I do intend to switch a lot of my reviews to uh, video form so uh, please subscribe and then keep your eye out because I will be doing a lot of more reviews um, via this uh, YouTube channel. Alright guys, so uh, take care, I gotta run off to church now, it's almost 5 so peace out.